sun is up and our day is going. The first order of business, raise the flag and say the pledge. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Minutes later, breakfast is served. We've got hungry stomachs to fill. But this isn't just another day at camp. Welcome to the Ridley 4-H Center in Columbia. These kids are here for a special event called Take a Walk on the Wild Side. This grass, animals like rabbits and deer, they'll probably eat it. Guide Brian Stewart leads a group on a nature hike. It's raining, but the trees provide a mostly dry canopy. Brian teaches that deep in the woods, solitude makes a good companion. You can use your sense of hearing. Everybody listen. You hear the raindrops running through the leaves. You can hear several birds around us. Kids say these strolls through nature are a blast, but there are challenges. You can always like stick your hand in the creek and kind of like splash it on your face if you get too hot. Mm -hmm. And it feels really good mm -hmm. and everything, but the bad thing is there's a bunch of bugs, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. Meantime, Brian leads the group further along the creek bank. Are there really alligators in there? Is there any alligator? Unfortunately, no. The alligator is gone. It was eaten by the crocodile. Mm -hmm. is, is there a crocodile? No, the crocodile was eaten by the shark. Not true. But kids do learn about these woods, the creatures that really do live here, and how to protect both. It's a good opportunity for the kids to get out of the classroom and learn beyond the four walls, if you will. The program that we offer here at the 4-H Center is for students in grades K through 8. And it's a hands-on science program and it's a field trip opportunity for teachers to bring students here to the 4-H Center. And they can do a day trip or they can spend the night here at the camp and stay in the cabins. Camp Director Terry Quillen says Wildside teaches children to respect nature and conserve precious resources. The future care of our world will someday be the responsibility of these children. At this age, it's very important, I think, for students to learn about our environment and how we, the things that we do to our environment, because this is our land, this is where we live. Teachable moments is a buzz phrase in education these days, and there are plenty of them at Wildside Camp. I hope they go away with a sense of, I can do anything, I can accomplish anything. Educators say their students love to learn about the outdoors, especially if you teach them in the outdoors. Wild side is realistic. The hands-on experience they get here is just so wonderful that they take that back into a regular classroom and then they can put that stuff to paper and pencil. And they remember when they do things and experience it, they remember much more than books just in a classroom all the time. So I'd say this rock has been here quite some time. What do you think? Because it's got all kinds of shells. That includes holding millions of years of history in your hands. The kids go fossil hunting. Looks like there's something down in there. Can't tell what it is though. But instead of keeping the rocks, they make impressions. Teachers and parents love that Mother Nature always has a lesson plan ready. What I like about it is that uh, there's no electronic devices here. <laughs> you know, it's all about agriculture and learning. Uh, if the wilderness and, and there's, there's so much other than TV here. Would you recommend this for other parents? Oh, educate? definitely, definitely. Yes, it's so far it's been it's been pretty. I mean, I've I've learned a little bit myself, so mm -hmm. I'm never too old to learn or too old to teach. Marcella Spence will vouch for that. The the ones that rode in the wagon. Could you tell me who rode in the wagon? Mrs. Spence and husband B D are generous 4-H volunteers. They've given their money and their time over the years to make this camp successful. Speaking of hands-on. They burned buffalo poop, and that's what you had in your hands. From the harshness of pioneer life to the obstacle course, Wildside also offers team building exercises that are challenging and fun. Y'all come up with a strategy, talk as a team first before you do it. Now this is what you call togetherness. How many kids can you get on a single platform? Spiders ready, ready, swinging, swing on. Wildside is also about building trust. Kids learn to rely on one another to complete a task, like swinging into someone's waiting arms. But this camp is as much about getting a good grip on academics as any rope. Kids are here to learn, and with a number of activities cleverly disguised as fun, that's just what they're doing. We made a rope, a very long rope, 
We tried some Indian food, uh, looked at how Indians made tools and stuff. I liked seeing the fossils and going to the canteen. Everything's just a dollar, it's nice. <laughs> also, oh, I like the archery. We're about to go learn about soil and we're learning about pioneers, how they were cooking. Camp leaders believe the learning that goes on here often is easily transferred from this serene setting back to the school. Teachers most often comment here at the 4-H Center, the activities that we do based on whatever grade level is here, it really, really helps them review for their TCAP test or Terra Nova testing, the state standardized testing. So that's a really big plus. Five, Yes, Jacob, you have now been kissed by a toad. Evening comes and the day concludes inside. But here the kids encounter creatures that live in the great outdoors. We met Sarah earlier. Now she's in the Fear Factor hot seat. The Southern Black Widow. <laughs> that nutty Brian is at it again. Drop for drop the poison of this spider is about 15 times more powerful than a rattlesnake. These kids, excluding Sarah for the moment, are having fun now. No, he really didn't put a spider in her hair. She just thinks he did. But there is a serious lesson to take from here. This generation has the responsibility of preserving our environment, so now's the time to learn to appreciate it. As the flag comes down, it's been a good day for these kids. They learned, they had fun, they walked on the wild side. <laughs>